Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can change your tools in Logic Pro X. There's a couple ways to do it. I'm gonna show you two ways. And I think the most helpful way, um, at least when you're first starting out, is to make sure you're not clicked on any audio. Click right here, just somewhere inside the window. That's not on audio, and then click T. And then it pulls up all these different tools that you can use, but then, the nice thing is it also shows you all the quick keys, what letters to push on your keyboard to automatically change to these. Click T and just push. And there you go, there's my pencil tool. But I actually want to use a different tool. I want to use the scissors. So right here, as you can see, now I can split audio very easily. Now I have made another video showing you the quick keys to split audio, and if you remember, that was um, Command T. So I'm going to do Command Z, Command Z to undo what I did. Then I'm going to hit uh, T again to pull my pointer tool up, and then Command T. See that you can also do it that way. So there's a lot of quick keys for a lot of these as well. Um, so if I click T again. Let's look. So you can bring up the text tool, the zoom tool, the fade tool, solo tool, um, a lot of different tools. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please like, subscribe, and comment as it does really help out in the YouTube algorithm. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video. Take care.